Herman Goldner uh, is an enormous uh, influence on skiing. As a skier, uh, Herman, uh, he changed uh, American skiing first, and then of course he changed international skiing just by his example. It happened so fast, the naked eye couldn't even follow. The Mobius flip. One full twist cleverly wrapped into a backflip an acrobatic feat memorialized in the revered ski film bearing the same name. Herman Goldner performed it 50 years ago. After having already nailed the world's first double backward somersault and the first triple forward flip on skis. Setting the foundation for freestyle aerials, now an Olympic staple since 1992. And doing it on 210 centimeter skis into a flat landing zone. Herman Goldner is a revered, almost mythical figure among skiing's cognoscenti. Besides pioneering freestyle aerials with his partner Tom Leroy in the 1960s, Goldner was an iconic racing coach, shepherding some 20 racers to the U.S. ski team. Growing up in Zelemse, immensely talented in gymnastics, climbing, and ski racing, Goldner seemed poised to become Austria's first Herminator. Winning the Austrian Junior Championship in 1955 and the European Junior title two seasons later. But injuries and a costly car accident cut his race career short, sending him to the US and Vermont to earn his livelihood. Befriending Leroy at Killington, the two pushed aerials to new heights, always with meticulous training and preparation. Meanwhile, Goldner was also banking checks on the professional ski racing circuit and winning the first major freestyle contest and the keys to a Corvette Stingray at Waterville Valley in 1971. Rather than pursuing his own athletic career, Goldner dedicated his life to helping others. In this case, the young ski racers at the newly founded Stratton Mountain School. As the head coach from 1971 to 1985, with a two-year break to lead the U.S. women's ski team in the 1980 Lake Placid Olympics, Goldner's dedication and intensity became legendary. He was right there with you, you know, whether it was up on the hill with a ski file to make sure that your ski edges were sharp enough, or, you know, in the gym right alongside you doing, you know, hundreds of push-ups. Grudgingly beloved by his students for a hardcore approach to dryland training, he led them in hauling backpacks full of rocks on long distance runs. Because his main goal was to bring out the best in others, the racers he touched remain fiercely loyal to him today. The hinge slalom gate revolutionized ski racing when it was introduced in the early 1980s, but the gates came easily out of the snow. Goldner invented a threaded pole base that would screw firmly in place, and it's been a fixture on the World Cup ever since. After leaving Stratton, Goldner led premier race programs in Squaw Valley, Aspen, and Sugar Bowl. Now 74, retired and living near Lake Tahoe, Goldner's focus is on climbing, including his conquest of the legendary 5.13A Pumparama, a quintuple black diamond in skiers' terms. For an incredibly diverse career with world-class accomplishments as an athlete, coach, and inventor, Herman Goldman earns entry into the U.S. Ski and Snowboard Hall of Fame.